This is Blood on Sweden, back again with part 2 of my new SRCD8 tutorial series covering Counter-Strike Global Offensive. In part 1 we downloaded and installed the server and it's now time to take a look at the very basic settings that you need in order to get your server ready for its first launch. This is a quite simple process so it will be kind of a short video. So let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is to go inside your installation folder and find your srcds.exe file. We want to create a shortcut to this file so I'm going to go ahead and right click, scroll down to send to desktop create shortcut. Next you just right click the shortcut and go down to properties and right here in the target box we will add our startup line now if you followed my tutorials on how to make a source dedicated server you know all about the startup line and what it does if you don't it's just a bunch of commands you tell the application to to start with once you launch your server um, the only difference between source and global offensive is that go have four game modes and each game mode have its own startup line so if you check the video description you will find uh, one startup line very basic very stable for each uh, of the four game modes I'm going to run a classic competitive server so I'm going to select that startup line copy it and add it to the target box. So as you can see we tell the application to run uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive in console mode. We will be using the map group uh, of bomb maps and we will start on DE Dust. So yeah that's really it for the very basic settings. Uh, come back for in part 3 and we will check out some more advanced configurations that you also need in order to have a stable server. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll see you the next time.